It's a versatile team because there was a lefty going. Guys like Andre Ethier and our next guest, Curtis Granderson, got a chance to sit and watch the Dodgers dominate again. They went 11-1. Curtis joins us here live on MLB tonight. Curtis, always a joy to talk to you. How about Kike Hernandez going yard three times? Can you believe absolutely that? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> you know, absolutely amazing. This guy's been able to do everything for us. He can play center field, left field. He can come in and play the infield. And obviously, he can swing the bat like he did tonight. So anything that he gets an opportunity to do, his energy is off the charts, and he was able to help us out big tonight. Hey, Curtis, uh, you're going back to another World Series, my man. Congrats. Thank you very much. That's pretty cool. So let me ask you, I, I got a couple questions for you, but Al Leiter's going to jump in here in a second before I get to my second one. <laughs> so let me ask you this. So how long did it take you to feel like, I'm part of the Dodgers because you talk about Kiki does a lot of things for us. When did it become us for you? You know, it's interesting. As soon as the trade happens, everything's going really quick. And I'm trying to understand the whole situation. And I'm getting on a plane, getting ready to play the next game. Seeing guys that I've played against and now getting a chance to be with them, you start to learn what they can do. The first time I was out in Comerica Park with the Dodgers and Kike's in center, I forgot that he could play center field. So things like that, getting a chance to be out there with them, working with them, going through the ups and downs like Kenley talked about all season long, you know, and getting a chance to learn, see what this organization is all about, is how you start learning that and realizing that you're a part of it. Hey, and one of the things we've been discussing a lot with this club is we got a lot of guys that played every day in their career all of a sudden now you become a part-time player like yourself you're you're platooning their matchups everything else how long does it take to get yourself ready and what do you do to stay ready well doc our manager does a great job of giving us a heads up of when you're going to be starting and when you're not going to be starting and what the situation might happen to be jock was told that he might hit at the end of the game andre was told he might hit in the middle of the game depending when kershaw came out and all that heads up and communication definitely helps us out a lot we obviously know what we need to do to get our bodies ready whether it's going to the cage rolling out getting a stretch getting on the bike whatever it happens to be but getting that information ahead of time has definitely been key for us that's big curtis congratulations and i think of your career you're an awesome guy an ambassador to the game at so many different levels but i think about this would be your third World Series. You were a young player with the Tigers, uh, you know, a tough uh, World Series loss to Kansas City a couple years ago with the Mets. In your role as you evolve as an older player, and now here, you know, not sure of, you know, a bats and what's going to happen in the World Series, you know, how do you take that as far as your experience in helping others with your experience now having played already in two World Series? You know, looking back and realizing the things that we went through, what made those championship teams win? St. Louis against us in 06 and Kansas City against us in 2015. It was doing all the little things you had been doing all season long, trying not to do anything more than that. There's no reason to go up there and try to hit a five-run home run. You haven't done it all season long, so why try doing that right now today? Do the little things, pass the baton to the next guy in the lineup, get the ball to the next guy in the bullpen, make the play behind you, and everything will take care of itself. Once you start doing those things, those teams end up being the teams that go ahead and host the trophy up at the end of the year, and hopefully I'll get a chance to do it at the time. 0-2 so far, I'm trying to get that third one this time. Curtis Granderson of the Los Angeles Dodgers, always thank you for taking the time to chat with us. You're awesome, and we'll no see you at the World Series, okay? Congrats, Curtis.